for all of us and the heat indices, which are really, really high. You know, I posted something on my Facebook page, uh, the Mark Prater WIT 42, that if you see um, a child or a dog or a pet that is in a car that is closed up in this heat, call 911 because the police can help you know, handle that problem. If somebody forgets, because those cars, they're so soundproof now. I mean, they're so tight, nothing can help get that air to cool off. So 137 out back here. Wow. That's just, I mean, when you're looking at inside of a car, it's so dangerous. Please take it very seriously. And when you look at our live shot right now, it's a bit deceiving. It looks like a great afternoon. It's hazier now that high pressure is starting to sink on top of us. So we're getting some subsidence, but that is uh, helping to add to the um, atmosphere becoming a little more active. It's 97 degrees right now. The dew point down to 69. It was at 74 earlier, so our feels like temperature is at 103. But as that dew point comes up, that of course helps add to the uh, oppressiveness of the atmosphere. Stay hydrated with water. Be smart. Don't push it. And as uh, mentioned by uh, what we just saw in the story from Tim Reed, that take breaks, go inside and cool off. Heat index values of 105 to 110. That's nothing to play with. You've got to take that very seriously. And as you look at temperatures, these are the actual air temperatures. 97 in Birmingham, 95 in Coleman, 94 in Gadsden. But across West Alabama is where we've seen the most water vapor. And that's why heat index values are at 104 in Tuscaloosa. Hamilton, your actual temperature is at 90, but you're 16 degrees higher because the dew points are so high. And this is the area we've seen most of the uh, concentration of moisture. So where we do have a few showers, that does help, but it's only temporary. Now our temperatures, as far as the heat index values go, through the night tonight, look at this. This is Birmingham. This is as cool as it will feel tomorrow morning. So it's not going to get to where we can cool off and, and maybe open the windows. That tells us the atmosphere is not going to change much. It's going to stay very hot. Tomorrow, 109 in Tuscaloosa, Jasper, 103 in Coleman. And these are just computer model estimates. Some of these numbers could be upwards of 110 or maybe even a bit higher where we do have the most concentration of moisture. And then as we get into Saturday, it cools down a few degrees, but you're still talking about 102 to 104 in a number of spots. And if we do get rain, that will help take the edge off, but it does not mean we're out of the woods just yet. So that's why I've issued a weather aware again for tomorrow and possibly on Saturday. I'll look at the new model runs as they come in later this evening. Otherwise, tonight we'll see some clouds, but still a good bit of sunshine, so we'll stay hot. Same for Tuscaloosa. Rain coverage is really starting to go down a good bit. Now, we still could have a, a passing shower around Anniston, but the temperatures are a bit cooler thanks to the fact that we have had some rain in the area. Shelby County, very similar to what we're looking at as well in Birmingham. You'll see that those are the only remaining showers now. And as we go in for a closer look, the shower which we had in Bibb County, that's really started to fall apart. Belchers, you've got a sprinkle right now. Also, near south side, you've got rain falling. Gadsden, a rumble of thunder. Ohatchee, you'll be dealing with this particular cell if it holds together and moves down towards Colwell. And then this thunderstorm has just fallen apart near Alexander City. So throughout the rest of tonight, rain chances are looking pretty slim. Not out of the question, but certainly the real story will be the heat and just how oppressive it is. Tomorrow, highs again headed back up towards upper 90s in most spots. So here's your storm track seven day. You'll see the temperatures go from 99 to 97 this weekend. Very hot and rain chances. They're back, but still again, where it's not raining, it will be incredibly uncomfortable and dangerously hot. Jim.